Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying your Christmas season so far. This Christmas break has been something a lot of us have probably been waiting for. Because of all the things with all the online classes, I'm sure finally this is a breather for all of us. This is something you've been looking forward to. And I hope that as you rest through the Christmas break, you also rest in the Lord as you track along with the Daily Devo. And if you're someone who's new and you stumbled upon this video, I hope that you enjoy this time, that you continue to continue with us with the Daily Devo, and that you will just grow with your relationship with the Lord as you watch along with the videos. Now, let me just put this out there bago tayo magtuloy. Guys, the reality is, two days na lang until Christmas. Who here is excited for that Christmas morning? Nahalala nyo ba yun na para Christmas morning opening the gifts and... I hope yung gifts na in-open yung hindi lang Shopee or Lazada packages na, na dumating, di ba? Sana hindi ganun yung mangyayari sa Christmas season. Pero, you know, it's just so exciting that finally, after all this time, Christmas is finally here. And yun lang paisip ako, we've been tracking Christmas ever since, no? Na parang we've been waiting and counting down the days. Ever since, that ever since I can remember, even growing up, We've always been waiting for Christmas Day. And that just got me thinking. Naalala ko lang yung time that I would honestly be so excited and count down the days for Christmas. I think I was 8 years old because I was hoping and longing and waiting for a certain gift. And that gift was a brand new Beyblade. Kasi uso pa nung time na yun yung Beyblade. So I would count down the days. I would be so excited because pinromis sa akin ng family ko, ng parents ko, that they were gonna buy me a brand new Beyblade for Christmas season, for the Christmas, for Christmas season. So, sobra excited ko, and I've been hoping and longing for that. And come Christmas morning, and I finally found it in the stocking where they usually put the gifts. I was so excited, and I was so happy, so joyful, and. Nagkaroon ako ng relief kasi, yes, naging true to their word yung parents ko. And if you've experienced that at least one Christmas, di ba? It's an amazing, it's an amazing feeling. And maybe you guys are looking forward for that kind of feeling again this Christmas. Maybe you're looking forward for a gift. Or maybe you're just looking forward for the pandemic to, over, to be over. Pero regardless, what I'm trying to get at is, we've had that feeling No, we've had that feeling all too well. You, you're waiting and longing and hoping for something or for someone or for a certain situation, whatever that is. We know that feeling that you're longing for something because something was promised. Something was already said to you na para mangyayari daw to. And you've been waiting for that ever since. You've been longing for that ever since. And once you finally get to that point, that's something that you've been waiting for, something that you've been putting your hope in, is finally there. Ano yung feeling that all comes together with it? That feeling of, yung rush of emotions, of joy, excitement, and relief. And you know, I say these things because, you know, in the story that we'll, we'll be reading, this is probably what those who are, who've been waiting for Jesus to come were feeling because Jesus was a promised king. And we see that in Micah 5 verse 2. It says there, but, You Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are a small a small clan of the small clan of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. So what this verse is saying is that, you know, the king of Israel, the king of the Jews, the, the king of kings that they've been waiting for. It was a promised king from God. God promised that his king was coming and that he would be born in Bethlehem. And this, is, this was a prophecy that happened 600 to 700 before Jesus was born. So this was something a lot of them, a lot of the people, a lot of the Israelites, a lot of God's people were waiting for and hoping for that. This coming king, this promised king of God is gonna be here. We're waiting for that king. And if we fast forward to Jesus' birth, that king has finally come. Matthew, Matthew 2 verse 11 says, On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. And they opened their treasure and presented them with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The coming king was finally there. 
And can you imagine the rush of emotions of those who've been waiting for him? Na generations they've been waiting for him. Na finally, this king is here and we're excited. That moment, siguro, when they saw Jesus, the reason why they bowed down and worship was because this is the promised king. This is the one that we've all been waiting for. That rush of joy, excitement, and relief probably overcame them and they bowed down and worshipped him because finally, the long-awaited coming king is already here. He's already here and the promises of God are true. And what we can learn from this story is that, you know, we can rest knowing that God will be true to His promises. If He promised Jesus would come 600 to 700 years before His birth, you know, and He he was still true to it, He still showed up that He was true to His promises, it just shows us that God operates in a different timetable from us. But when He said something, when He says something, He will do it. If He says something, he will do it. And we have to believe. We have to have faith. Knowing that if God promised us something in His Word, He will be faithful to do it. And that's something that we can learn from it. We can learn from this story. And you know, I want to challenge us and be encouraged by this. You know, because for many of us, maybe you've been waiting for a long time. Maybe you've been waiting for the pandemic to be over. Maybe you're waiting for situations to change. Situations to be better. Maybe you're in this season of waiting and you're starting to get impatient. You're starting to get frustrated. It gets frustrating. But I want to challenge all of us that try to remember. Try to remember this. Is there something that God has promised you in His Word? Is there something that He promised you in His Word? Is there a verse? Is there a promise? Is there a character of God? that He wanted you to be reminded of during this season. Or He wanted you to hold on to as you continue in this waiting season. I want to challenge all of us to not give up on that. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God's promises. Don't give up on His Word. Don't give up on God's character. Because this story shows us that He is true to His Word. Sometimes it may not come immediately. It may not come today, it may not come tomorrow, it may not come the next day, the next week, the next month, the next year. It can take a long time. I mean, seriously, this was 600 to 700 years. No waiting. But you know, one thing that we know about this is that God is true to His Word. God is true to His promise. And He showed us in this Christmas story that God's promises will always come come true and he showed us through jesus and you know what's even more crazy he promised that the king was coming and right now we're waiting for another promise we're waiting that the king is coming again soon for you and for me that we may be taken home with him in heaven and we have an exciting thing to look forward to and that's the promise of god that all of us can hold on to I hope that this Christmas season, we would be reminded of who Jesus is to us and what He means to all of us who know Him and have a relationship with Him. And I hope you have that relationship with Him. I hope you enjoy your time with the Lord as you read through our verses today. And I hope that we all continue to grow in our relationship with Jesus. God bless everyone. I hope you have a great time with the Lord.